I'm Tom Boley, Chief Market Strategist of Invested Central. Uh, first, I'd like to thank everyone for taking the time to read my articles in the Stock Charts uh, Chart Watchers newsletter twice a month. I hope that you find them helpful in your education and trading. I can say it's been a real privilege for me to write alongside John Murphy and the other contributors at Stock Charts for the last five years. John is someone that I admire. I've learned a great deal of technical information from him over the years. He's been a primary mentor of mine, particularly in the area of intermarket relationships. Um, but I do try in my articles to share a slightly different and unique view of the market while sticking to our core principles at Invested Central. We, number one, we provide education to our members. That is always been the hallmark of our and cornerstone of our, of our business. Uh, but we also provide stock market guidance and trading ideas along the way. And it's those trading ideas, that's where, in my opinion, the patience, discipline, and risk management come into play. Now, this month, we're going to be having a, a regular online trader series event that is trading leveraged ETFs for profit while minimizing risk. This is an event that will be held on Wednesday, this Wednesday, um, January the 12th at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it will be 1.30 on the West Coast for those of you out there. We, I do want to mention we're offering a special to our um, stock charts followers. Um, normally, our silver package is $119.95 a year, which works out to about $10 a month. We are giving you a special 20% off rate. Uh, we really value the relationship we have with stock charts. And uh, as a frequent visitor at Stock Charts, we want to pass along a nice discount to you. So if you have an opportunity, take a look at our silver package. On my screen here, you can see that the silver package, all you have to do is click on the Learn More button. If you want to check out the gold, uh, you can do that as well. If you, at a very minimum, uh, I would recommend that you sign up for the bronze. It's a free newsletter, no credit card required. You can take a look at the, the uh, three packages. The one thing I do want to mention, I don't want to make this you know, a sales pitch. I, I want to talk about the uh, leveraged ETFs, but I do want you to realize that with this special $99 package, it gives you a year of our silver package, which provides stock setups every weekend. You're going to get a daily chart of the day. So that's going to be, what, roughly 250 charts during the year. Uh, you'll benefit from our online trader series events, like the one that we have coming up this Wednesday. We do these every month. So you'll have 12 of those events. You'll be receiving annotated index sector and industry charts. You'll get nightly market recaps. But perhaps even the most important thing, or one of the, the real keys, I think, to this special, is that you're going to have 10 days access to our gold package, which is everything we have to offer. So for 10 days, you can experience everything that our top-level members get at Invested Central. And then you can make a judgment on what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and the best news of all is after that 10-day period, there's no obligation whatsoever to the gold package. You can simply just sit back and enjoy the silver package for the rest of the year. So I just want to point that out because I want to make sure you understand that this is truly a, uh, a great offer. And uh, if you scroll around, take a look around our website, I think you'll find that there's some really information in the silver package that is worthwhile uh, and certainly worth a $99 value. Think about it this way. Uh, $99 divided by 12 months is roughly $8 a month, a little more than $8 a month. You probably pay that for one trade um, at your broker. So I think it's a pretty good deal. But anyway, take a look. You be the judge. As far as the juiced ETFs, which I call them, or leveraged ETFs, we've done events on these before. And I'm going to switch over to – actually, one more thing before I switch over. I do want you to see that we added a new feature. Um, and this is part of our bronze package. This is part of our free package. But if you click over on the educational chart, you'll see that we have uh, developed an anatomy of a trade. And I think this is important because it'll give you um, it'll give you some information about what we look at in terms of identifying a potential trade, what we look for in terms of a target, where we set our stop loss. And I think it'll give you um, an understanding of the discipline that we have when we take a look at uh, trading individual stocks. So anyway, I wanted to mention that. But let's head over to an Excel spreadsheet 
Um, when you look at leveraged ETFs, there's a couple things that you've got to keep in mind, just very basic principles about these leveraged ETFs. Number one, if you go to the website of ProShares or any of the companies that offer these, these leveraged ETFs, one thing that they will stress is that a, a leveraged ETF will track or attempt to track the underlying index that it's designed to track on a daily basis. And that's probably the most important thing you have to understand with these leveraged ETFs is that you have to realize that it's tracking for a one-day period only. I know that I've run into a lot of traders who get an impression that the market's going to go up, and therefore they're just going to uh, jump in on a, on a leveraged ETF, and they're just going to hold it because they know the market's going to go higher, and therefore they're guaranteed to make a bunch of money when the market uh, shoots up, and uh, you know, they don't really think about the risks, or maybe they don't understand the risks of holding these over a longer period of time. Let me just show you in a very simple example, in a volatile market, what happens in these leveraged ETFs. And in particular, I've got a bullish three times ETF, a bearish three times ETF, and an underlying index. It doesn't matter what the index is. Just understand that if you're in a, if you're trading a uh, triple leveraged ETF and it's in a volatile group, then it's going to really increase the potential erosion, that's what I call it, the erosion over time in the value of your investment simply because of the up and down nature of the stock market. So let me give you an example here first of a volatile market. What I did is I just took an underlying index. I'm just making up a number. Let's say it starts the year at 780. And over the next 10 trading days through January 14th, let's say that we go up four points one day, we go down two points, we go up seven points, we go up three points, we're down nine points, we're up four points, we're down 12 points, we're up eight points, we're up three points, we're down six points. Bottom line, start of the period to the end of the period, we haven't changed a thing. We're still sitting at 780. So the market just doing its thing, you know, back and forth, a little up, a little down. Two weeks later, the market really hasn't moved. This is not unusual behavior at all in the market. So the underlying index has done nothing over two weeks, 0%. Now the bullish three-time ETF, the triple ETF, first realize that if the underlying index goes up 0.51, this is actually 0.513, that your three-time ETF is going to be 1.54. Your bearish three-times ETF is going to be minus 1.54. Those percentages are then applied to the value, which I just randomly assigned at $50. And it'll show you that the bullish three times ETF on the first day went up pretty nicely, went up triple, uh, which is, you know, basically what it's supposed to do. The bearish ETF, not so good, went against you and lost 1.54%. Now, I went through this exact same thing. So minus 2.6, we take the triple on each of these. Uh, here we're up 90, so here you're going up 2.70. On the bearish, you're going down 2.70. Did this every day, and essentially what you end up coming up with is at the end of the period, the underlying index is right back to where you started. But look at what happens to the bullish triple ETF, leveraged ETF, and the bearish triple leveraged ETF. Both show losing amounts after two weeks. So how can this be? If the bullish ETF is supposed is designed to track exactly 3%, uh, or not 3%, but triple, the returns of the underlying index and the bearish goes minus three times the underlying index. If you get back to zero, three times zero is zero and minus three times zero is zero. So why are these not zero percent? Well, it's pretty simple. It's the compounding nature of these moves. When you, you don't always go off of the same base uh, in the calculation because it's a daily calculation. So every day stands on its own. The bullish triple leveraged ETF on January 4th is only looking at what the close was on the 3rd and calculating the return on the underlying index on January 4th, and that's what it's trying to mimic. But as you go up and down, back and forth, the compounding and the leveraged nature of these skew the results, and you actually erode over time based on the volatility. So this is a, a perfect situation of why you do not hold these over long periods of time. 
if the market's just simply going up and down, you're going to end up losing under both scenarios. So you can see the erosion that takes place in these leveraged ETFs. Now, a second example, this is a trending market. Now, in this example, um, I've actually used the uh, Russell 2000 and the TNA and TZA basically as your um, examples, but still use the same numbers. doesn't really matter. We could put anything in here, any underlying index, any uh, uh, ETFs, triple ETFs leverage that relate to that index. You could put any one you want in here. The key is what happens if the market goes up every single day? What happens if that underlying index is making a bullish move and goes up four points every day? Positive results. Two-week return, we're up 5% on the index, 5.13%. Now, the expected return I put in down here at the bottom, you can see, is actually at 15.39%. Uh, if you take 5.13 and time, multiply it times 3, you'll come up with 15.39. So that's what you would expect. And on the negative side, you'd expect minus 15%, 15.39%. Notice what happens, though. You're actually making more than the 15.39% in the bullish leveraged ETF if you're holding in an uptrending market. Beautiful. That's uh, you know good news. And the reason that this works, think about it in terms of uh, getting simple interest on a bank account versus compounded interest, because that's the difference. Each day, again, the TNA in this case is based on the underlying index and how it does the prior day, you know, from the prior day. So on this first day, it's up 1.54%, triple the 0.51%. The but the second day, it's now based on the higher value in the Russell 2000 in this case. So you're actually tacking on more uh, of a gain based on a higher base of that underlying index. So in effect, over a period of time, when, the, when that underlying index keeps rising and keeps going in one direction, you actually make more than what's intended on these leveraged ETFs. I find it to be very uh, beneficial if you can find the right moment. Now, one of the things or the main thing that we're going to be talking about on Wednesday with these leveraged ETFs is finding the right time because there are definitely some pitfalls. I just showed you one right here where you the, the value erodes over time. If you get into a market where you really don't have a discernible trend in play, you lose no matter which side you're on. It doesn't matter. You begin to erode value. That is one problem. There's also costs involved. I mean, I'm taking a very simplistic approach to this and giving a full benefit for the three, uh, you know, the triple uh, leveraged ETF, but keep in mind that companies like ProShares have administrative costs that they have to pass along. So you're going to have not only the erosion, but you're going to have administrative costs that uh, add to the cost of your trade. And of course, you've got commissions on your own trade, which you have on any other trade, so no big deal there. But those are, are three areas of cost that you need to be aware of. Um, and as I showed you, the volatility is a key component of trading leveraged ETFs. Volatility kills your returns in a juiced ETF. Uh, and it doesn't matter, again, if you're bullish or bearish. I, I produced an example back in, uh, I don't know, 2007, 2008. Uh, I think it was coming off the lows of 2008, that if you had actually gone into um, leveraged ETFs on the long side and followed say the financial index, the Dow Jones U.S. financial index, I think the long is the UIG, which is the double of the Dow Jones U.S. financial index. After we reached the bottom in 2008, if you had decided to go long the UIG and ride this market rally back up, you would be shocked to find out that if you had just bought an ETF that tracked the index, forget about juicing it, if you had just, you know, dollar for dollar, you would have made more money tracking it dollar for dollar than if you had gone into the double. And, you know, that leaves a lot of people scratching their head, but it's erosion. It's the volatility over time. Even though the market went up, financials went up, the UYG did not perform as well as the XLF, which tracks the financial group on a dollar for dollar basis because it doesn't erode over time. One other thing to think about with these leveraged ETFs, they act a lot 
like options and how options lose value over time if you continue to hold them. That's really what happens with these leveraged ETFs. They use derivatives, they use options, they use futures contracts and the like in order to mimic these returns. Well, they, those lose value over time. So the investment vehicles that are being used to try to generate this double or triple uh, returns like you get on these leveraged ETFs, they are using um, they're using vehicles to provide those types of returns over one day. So you cannot simply just get in and hold over time. Uh, I, again, I want to invite you to the Wednesday event. I think if you trade these, these leveraged ETFs, I think the cost of the silver package at $99 will be paid for from this one seminar. I truly believe that. Uh, these, you know, we're going to go over um, some additional myths about, about trading leveraged ETFs. I'm going to bring up charts. I'm going to show you exactly when, in my opinion, would be a good time to get into juiced ETFs, when you want to think about being out of juiced ETFs, uh, making sure that you're minimizing your risk when you get in. When, you know, these are like any other short-term trading vehicles. When you get in, you've got to have a plan on when you're getting out before you ever push that buy button. And if you don't, and you just say, well, you know, I'm just going to continue to hold and let it go for a while. That is a horrible strategy in the stock market in general, but particularly with these leveraged ETFs. So if you can, mark your calendar. Wednesday, 4.30, we're going to be having our next online traders event. It will be trading leveraged ETFs for profit while minimizing risk. I think it's going to be a great event. Again, if you can't make it on Wednesday live, uh, don't worry. We record these events. And you can take a look at the transcript at your leisure at any point after the event takes place. Uh, I want to thank you again for stopping by, and I wish you the best of luck in your trading. Happy trading.